we started with making the 10 inch MDF rings to accommodate the mid bass drivers for this console. It was kind of a task because of putting it into this small area. Here's kind of the idea we're going with. It's just rough paper. We're going to transfer it all over to wood. So we started making our sides so that everything would be structural and basically get our base structure and skeleton of what we needed to build this console. This was going to be a tremendous amount of work to be able to fit these 10 inch mid base drivers in the small area that we had between the seat and the actual radio and the way that the dash came into this. We also had to cut around all the seat belts and everything else that was where the pre-existing stock console was. We did get everything to fit very, very close within inches to half inches of tolerances, but it all ended up fitting with the dash, the 10 inch mid base drivers and the wall that's in the back of this Tahoe. All right, we have part of our structure built. Looks a little weird, but that's what we got for right now. The skeleton was built, structure was completed. All we needed now was to start doing the sides and all the templates that we needed to make everything fit and still look correct. Tell me what you think, Dustin. Put your arm on there, does it feel all right? Yeah. Does it look all right? So we started building the side templates so that that way we could actually, you know, build something over the 10, 10 inch mid base drivers and put grills over them so that they weren't exposed. It was actually three pieces of half inch wood on each side. This console ended up weighing a tremendous amount after we got this completed. All right, we got all this stuff in. We have our factory basically layer back here. One more layer, one more layer. Three layers per side, one and a half inches. That way we can make the grill out here and this part will sit flush for the 10 inch mid base drivers that he has. So this is definitely a heavy and a lot of work console. As you can see, it fits very snug underneath the factory dash cigarette lighters and the HVAC controls. It basically has to slide in and then still goes back about six to eight inches underneath the factory dash. We wanted it to look as OEM and clean as possible and still look like it flowed into the dash. But it was much more of a headache than we anticipated mainly because the 10 inch mid base drivers were so tall, we had to make the console go up so high. But we did make everything accommodate and fit like it was supposed to. Here we have the skeleton completed and removed so that we can actually start making all the cosmetic parts and all the templates on the outside so that we can, you know, make a cool design and then put a grill mesh in it and make it look really nice so that you can actually see the mid base drivers. This is one of the side templates here that we made a custom design. We cut this all out by hand, um, could accommodate his tweeters and 10 inch mid base drivers. Behind that, we're gonna put grill mesh and actual LED lighting. In this picture, it shows where we routed all the edges, cleaned it all up, made it look super clean into the side caps of the actual center console. This was a tremendous amount of work, mainly because it was one and a half inches thick. Here we actually made the back piece and attached it that way that there was no open or exposed part of this console. We had to make a very large gap in between the 10 inch mid base driver and the front actual half inch piece. So we ended up routing out where the 10 inch mid base driver was down probably about a quarter to three eighths of an inch just to make it sit a little bit more flush, give it a little more room to flex so it doesn't hit that grill mesh. This definitely took a lot of time to make each side. 
most people would look at this and think it was easy, but it definitely was very time consuming to do, especially to cut it all out by hand. In these pictures, you'll see we started making each individual top piece, which was three pieces separated, which was modular so that each piece could come out and you could actually attach them separated and hold the cup holders, the voltmeter, um, the top LED switches that we we're going to put in, and also the Helix DSP that he had. Each one of these pieces was mounted modular so that it could come out if we needed to change it or anything didn't fit correctly. That way we could actually adjust things and we didn't have to redo the whole entire top. The actual centerpiece where the armrest was would actually just snap off with snap pieces so that that way it could come out. Um, we made it big enough to where he could fit a cell phone in there. We also ended up putting two switches in there that lit up with LEDs. That was the voltmeter in the middle that was supplied to us by him that he wanted in there. This is the end of part one and part two will be coming soon. We will be going over covering each piece of leather and different materials, so stay tuned.